Good evening everyone! In this video I would like to present a step-by-step -step build of the HMS Calcutta in 1 to 350 scale model manufactured by Trumpeter. The quality of details is good, I can't wait to paint those planks. Sadly the set includes only one photo edge plate. The first thing I do is sand the ship's hull with two types of sandpaper. Then I mark the holes that will be used to place the model on the base and I drill 6mm holes. I insert the 6mm nut and block it with pieces of plastic, which I stick to the model with extra thin cement from Tamiya. Be patient, please. I bought new tubes and the video quality will be a little better in a moment. I know it's bad now, but I'm still working on it. The time has come to glue the deck and hull together. This is also what I do with extra thin cement. I squeeze everything with paper tape for an hour. This is how it looks like. After unsticking, I can't see any gaps. That's it. I cut out the rest of the parts, send them with the file and glue them to the model. The trumpeter models has only advantages for me, but this model has let me down because it lacks many railings. Luckily I have some from my Bismarck model. I cut them out and glue them with cyanoacrylate glue. Mm -hmm. Fits perfectly. I removed the excess glue with a CAD bonder, which I did not film it. Sorry. I can now attach my cool homemade stand. I'm attaching the rest of the railings, but for this part of the video I will only focus on the hole. There's also one ugly ladder that annoys me. I will replace it with the metal one later. Time for primary. I use Mr. Surfacer 1000 Grey. Now we can see and remove any imperfections like this, this, and this. Okay, let's start painting the deck. The first layer is Vallejo Tan Air. I paint the entire deck with this but only a few planks will remain in this color. Now you can see, I mask them with paper tape. This is how it looks like. I add a few drops of Vallejo Dectan to my airbrush and paint the whole deck again. And again the paper tape. I repeat the process twice, with more colors. Realized that are not enough planks, but in the next project I will improve this technique. Don't worry, I know the deck looks unnatural. We will fix it later with oil wash. This will give a nice dark wood color to the deck and the gaps between the planks will be more visible. 
I apply wash to the entire surface of the deck. This is my favorite moment of the whole build. I also like very much the product they am using now. So, free commercial. AK301, dark wash for wood deck. Now I wipe off the excess wash with a cotton swab. And this is where the deck is ready. We will do some weathering later. Time for the hull. I paint a black line and then mask it with tape, so it stay visible after next layers. I paint the bottom of the hull with Vallejo Cavalry Brown. And after it's dry, I take off the tape. Next, I apply a clear lacquer to the deck. I have to do this because I will be masking the entire deck and after peeling off the tape, the oil wash would go away with the tape. So, the most funny part. Let's paint the top of the hull with grey paint. It's named Pale Grey Blue from Vallejo. see what comes out. like a ship. So that's it for today. Look forward to the next part of the build. Hope as soon as possible. My conclusions at the end. More words, more light, more planks, better English. Uh, if I missed something please tell me in comments. I will definitely read them all and answer them if I have to. See ya.